All right, <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, let it give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kurash, the bonus to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, citations to all that I can push his word, which is a seraphim with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word and calls God and Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name of the word and calls Jesus and Rakha Kurash. Is um the Holy Spirit, and as always, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelite, are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigner scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line, goodbye to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, on the brother your diet back at another lesson is going to be entitled "Beauty is Vain," going in on uh, one of the flavors of the week, Vivia a uh, Vivia a Fox. You see, and um, as you see, the photo on the left was in was when she was in her youth, not her youth, but her prime, you know, earlier days. And now, you know, she didn't hit that wall quite a few times. And um, basically, she came out and saying she's now 60 years old. And as you can see, she got all type of work done and stuff. But now she's saying that she's now looking for a husband. She's ready to settle down. She's ready to um, um, get married. Right. And have a, and do all those things married people do and so forth. And um, she had, you know, she was proud, you know, said she ain't doing no tenor. She gave out the specimens that she's looking for, the specifications to get with her 60 year old ass or whatnot. But nonetheless, you know, we're going to go ahead and edify on the topic because they once again, they are women. And it's going to be a whole lot of more women that follow after the example of that Esau Eden push a hey, live it up, test the waters, which is a harlotry, you know, um, um. Um, be with X amount of guys, you know, high girl summer, all that is um, Satanism, really, because they the strippers tell you to do the opposite. Here it is, this um, example of Vivier Fox. You know, she took the Hollywood path, sold out. You know, she was banging when she was young or whatnot. You know, you know, she got passed around a few times. She wasn't looking to settle down and be a husband in her youth and her beauty. Now she's hit the wall and she's used and abused. Now she wants to, you know, settle down, you know, but the strippers tell our women, Hey, hey, the first man that you bit, that you're with, that you lose your virginity to, or so forth, that's your husband forever, and a righteous kingdom never be uplifted. Here, hey, uh, virginity is looked down upon, right? But nonetheless, you know, hey, the scriptures tell our women that, hey, when you do get with a man, that's your man forever, and you grow and you build with that man. And typically, within the Hebrew Israelite um, customs, hey, as soon as that woman was a hey, became a woman, you know, in the age of her flower. You know, when she was, you know, um, reared up to be a wife, she would be married off so that uh, adultery, um, all this confusion that plague our community today, it wouldn't take place. You see. But now, you know, our women, hey, they totally gone out there saying only fans, multiple baby daddies. And this is just a way of life. But ultimately, it's going to result just like um, Vivica A. Fox used and abused, wore out, tired, you know. Now she's 60, looking for a lover. But we're going to go ahead and describe this Job 8 and 8 for inquire, I pray thee of the former age and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. And they, the scriptures is a, a heritage book of our people. So we must, hey, the things written the time are written for our understanding, our learning. We must look at those things that's written within the scriptures and follow that path, right? It says, for we are but of yesterday and know nothing because our days upon earth are as a shadow, right? So hey, especially, um, well, we got the truth now. But hey, beforehand, hey, we was born into a world that was contrary to to us, right? But now the knowledge of this truth, you know, we understand the right way. We see the light. It says, shall not they teach thee and tell thee and utter words out of their heart, right? So ultimately, this day, the history within the scriptures, the wisdom within the scriptures, it teaches us how to um, conduct ourselves, how to live our life governed by Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, which leads to a, a, a healthy, um, beneficial um, lifestyle, right? Other than this shit that we have now, you got a whole bunch of Vivica A. Foxes all throughout our neighborhoods, all throughout the tribes, man. Why? Because they abuse themselves at an early age instead of being with one man, staying with that one man, and building up with that one man, right? This Rock 7 and 23 has our children instruct them and bow their neck from their youth, right? Train up a child in a way that he shall go when he is old, he shall not depart in it. Our people will be groomed in the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you know, in the fear of the Lord. They will be taught this. So when they grow older, they will um, keep it near the heart. 
and, and walk that straight path, right? It says, has thou daughters have a care of their body and show not thyself cheerful toward them, right? If you have daughters, that's a, <laughs> it's a weighty matter because hey, you have to, she has to um, get weighed off. It says a foolish daughter is born to a man's loss, right? But it says, has thou daughters have a care of their body, right? Be right, because a woman, she will, hey, as the scripture say, abuse herself over, over much liberty. So, uh, uh, you know, while she's being brought up, her father would uh, safeguard her. Right. It says, and show not thyself cheerful toward them. Right. You making too much of them, conquering them, you know, daughters, especially you, you promoting them too much. You know, it says, marry thy daughter. And so shall thou have performed a weighty matter. Right. And the father will find a man of understanding to give her to. And that's how it was in the ancient way, which is the best way. But nowadays, you know, we under the curses and hey, it's just so many other factors within our community It's just. You know, it's just a death, a death cycle that we're on. Right. It says, but give her to a man of understanding. You give her to um, a man of understanding. As the scriptures say, Sirach 25 and three, if thou hast gathered nothing in thy youth, how canest thou find anything in thy age? Right. And that's another thing. You got a lot of women just abusing themselves now. when really these years, those prime golden years, you know, from the time of their virginity to, you know, maybe into like late 20s or whatnot those are um golden years and instead of you spending them with a father i mean not with a father but spending with a husband you know a, a parabon and all that good stuff right actually knowing your your partner or whatnot hey they they've been told by the devil the sober clean white man that no nah, you can live it up you know sneak around you know uh, go outside virginity ain't nothing you know, sleep with this dude. You got all these day naps. You got tender lust, right? A flame, <laughs> right? A burning, right? Yeah, women get all this attention, let alone in a society that worship them, literally. So, hey, they can just pick and choose who they want. But, hey, all has been told to our women and also has been told to their downfall, man. You see, the Lord knew what he was doing. A, a man can have multiple, more than one wife, but a woman can't. You know, you get an analogy <laughs> of the key. You got a key that can open any lock. That's a master key. But if you got a lock that can get opened by any key, that's a bad lock, right? How much more uh, with our women? When you go inside a woman, it's spiritual ties that, that, that are created, mental, physical, um, emotional, all type of genetics and science that take place that's overlooked now in this place. But nonetheless, um, yeah, all that gets, you know, um, it gets... Um, Hey, it just goes left when you have multiple partners, right? So going back to the Sirach 25 and 3, if thou hast gathered, and the scriptures are manifold, it says, if thou hast gathered nothing in thy youth, how can thou find anything of thine age, right? You get a, uh, you uh, from a woman's standpoint, you with a husband and you build with that man, you know? And I've seen examples of women that had multiple partners and, and a woman that actually didn't, that only had one and stayed with that one and had many children. And it's actually a beautiful thing. And hey, it's not a lot of demons on that woman. So hey, the script is, hey, is the best way to um, behave, um, behave ourselves, man. Hey, you saw even the sober clean white man. He tells our people uh, he, he defiles them with his wine, his philosophy, his wage, which don't profit them. Right. He put much emphasis on, on the outward appearance, the plating of the hair, the fancy hair, the uh, gold, the jewels. And hey, what does that lead? Adultery, a destruction. Niggas killing each other over women and so forth. Proverbs 31 and 30. Favor is deceit and beauty is vain. And the scriptures tell our women, when you go into Proverbs 31, a true virtuous woman, ultimately wisdom, but show you what a high morale woman would conduct herself. And at the bottom of it, it concludes with favor is deceitful. <laughs> and uh, when you go into NLT, it says charm is, 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 is um, deceitful. I mean, it's going to waste away, basically. But it says favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, right? Because a a woman, it, it, men age like wine and women do the reverse, you know? How much more when you got different genetics and all all type of stuff on that woman, you know? It just won't end bad. It won't end well, right? It says, but a woman that fear of Yahweh, she shall be praised, right? You fear the Lord is going to lead you to live a certain way. If you're a woman believer and you know you hear this truth, all right, okay, you get with your man and you do, you deal accordingly as the Lord, as your place in the Lord. And the Lord is pleased with that. Other than that, the Lord is not pleased with what our women are doing, especially these new age <laughs> bitches, right? 
hey, overly destroying themselves, man. Destroying uh, the future progeny, the future generations, if it was a future. Holloway Yah is not. But the future is the prophecies, you know what I mean? But, hey, the scripture is the best way to go. This is Ecclesiastes 11 and 9. Rejoice, O young men, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thine heart, and in the sight of thine eyes. Right, so live it up, right? You know, our people, they got the mind, oh, I'm young, I can do this, and I can, I can get, I'm going to get older, and I'm going to still be good. I can, all that bullshit, right? It says, but know thou that for all these things, the most high are bringing in the judgment, right? The Lord knows everything. The Lord gave us straight commandment um, on how to avoid being punished, right? And what to do is pleasing, right? It says, therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh for childhood and youth are vanity. Right. Because that's not even your perf uh, it, it's, it's just a time, you know, that's uh, early years. And you really it, it's going to pass away. Everything is going to change. Nothing is going to be constant, you know. But our people, they put much emphasis on this and ultimately um, abuse themselves. So rock 18 and 30. Go not after thy lust, your desires, if it's wicked. But re refrain thyself from thy appetites. Another thing, hey, our, our people have no um, temperance, you know. They live these um, heathenistic life, uh, which is basically, you know, I probably mispronounced the word, but it's close to basically a heathen lifestyle. Um, they live a lifestyle that's given to um, lust, pleasure, and it doesn't work for us. It says, go not after thy lust, but refrain thyself from thy appetites. If thou givest thy soul the desires that please her, she will make thee a laughing stock to thy enemies that malign thee. Right. So you have to have temperance, you know. Verse 32, take not pleasure in much good cheer, need to be tied to the expense thereof. Right. And another thing, our women, uh, and there are men too, but hey, this is about the women. They have, they, they give themselves over to that, um, the lust of the flesh, having a good time, that spirit. And they, that does nothing but destroy you, right? You make mistakes, you're going to end up in error, right? So rock 26 and 8. It says, a drunken woman in a gather abroad cause of great anger. She will not cover her own shame. The whoredom, which you see all throughout our community, tells you in a, in a uh, New Testament, I believe it's in like Titus or so forth, it tells you that the women should not be given to wine, Right? But what do you see? All women play. You got bitches that drink more than me. Right. And do what? Hey, hey cheat on they, or cheat on the man that they land with, you know, bring in more bastards into this uh, God forsaken uh, world. Right. Right. And the cycle continues. Right. It says cause of great anger and she will not cover her own shame. It says in Proverbs, she wipe of it and eat of it, say, if I have done no wickedness, roughly paraphrasing, the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and her eyelids, her countenance. If thy daughter be shameless, I mean, it has a disregard for shame, right? She, none, right? Keep her in straightly, tightly, you know, keep a close eye on her, lest, why? Lest she abuse herself through over much liberty, lest she destroy herself I having too much free time and there you've seen this growing up. Well, I've seen it growing up. Personal testimony. You know, you have women, young women, it's beautiful, gorgeous, and in their youth, right? Make bad decisions, no understanding, no wisdom whatsoever. And ultimately, they end up burning themselves out. Their body is through. They look older than they than they than they are, you know, various children, different fathers, and so forth. And that's a plague, man. Life ruined. And that all stems from a, a departing from the law, statutes, and commandments of you. How about Shemiel Shai? The nurture that's within the scriptures, the wisdom that's in the scriptures, right? It's like you. It says, watch over an impudent eye. And I believe impudent goes into like stubborn, not hearkening to um, like correction. It says, and marvel not if she trespass against you, right? And that's the nature of a woman. She go do some bullshit, right? It says she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler while he have found a fountain. When he had found a fountain and drink of every water near her. And his uh, elder brother, Kapatizah, beloved elder brother, you know, he goes into it's a poetic way of saying she's going to drink of every <laughs> suck, every rod that's available, you know, and that's the nature of a woman, you know, but a, a woman that's, that has a husband. That's 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 uh, that's um, instructing her, you know, it's going to save uh, stop all that. Right. 
It says, um, and drink of every water near her by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow, right? She's going to just lay with any type of man, not understanding the damage that she's doing, not only to herself, but to uh, people around her, her, her children, and all that, man. It says, the grace of a wife delighted for her husband and her discretion will fatten his bones. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed, right? And that's plain. It says, a shame facing a faithful woman is a double grace and her continent mind cannot be valued. As the sun when it arises in the high heaven, so is the beauty of a good wife in the order of her house, right? So just like when the sun is in it, uh, when a, you see the sun out there and it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful sunset arising or going down. Same, it's, 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 it's beauty is comparable to a woman in the ordering of her house, meaning she's got her house in order. The kids are taken care of. A, a man is taken care of. That's a beautiful thing in the eyes of the Lord. But in this world, this that's a thing looked down upon. They call that slavery. When you got women that's a uh, you got women that's that's uh, slaves today lust, got the slut demon on them, right? The hoe demon, a hoe is life, right? Just destroying themselves, right? But the way, but but hey, the Lord said it. But you say the way of, but my way is not equal, right? It says um, 1 Timothy five and fourteen. I would therefore that the younger woman marry. So the uh, the scriptures say that young woman marry. Right. Stop them doing a lot of bullshit that they do, a lot of horrible decisions that they've make and that they will make. I will, therefore, that the younger woman marry, bear children, guide the house, have children, have a husband and guide the house, have the house in order. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully for some are already turned aside after saying right. <laughs> the same thing is now you got the women. If you if you believe in this truth, hallelujah, hey, hey, continue. Then you got the rest of our women that are totally gone after Satan. You know, the, the, the God of this world, the prince of the power of the air, Esau, Edom, the sober clean white man. You got the enchantments on them, the sexy red, the um, Sukiana, all that shit, man. And it's destroying them. Right. Titus two and three, the age women, likewise, that they be in behavior has become a holiness. Nowadays, you got the older women in competition with the younger women, which is folly. It says as becoming holiness separate from this world. Not false accusers, not giving them much wine, teachers of good things. What are the good things that the women should teach? That they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands. So like I'm right back at it. Um, this is the last part, so like I got interrupted. This um Titus 2 and verse uh three. The aged women likewise that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not giving them much wine, right? Separate behavior, right? It says, um, not giving them much wine, teachers. It says, not false accusers, not giving them much wine, teachers of good things, right? They teach the younger women what? That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, which is pure. Let me see discreet really quick. It's a quick look up. It's a lot. Yeah, I can try and get this lesson out. Careful and circumspect in one's speech and actions, especially in order to avoid causing offense or to gain advantage. Careful, unobtrusive. It says, chase peer keepers at home, at the crib. Good, obedient to their own husband, that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. Right. And when the way of the Lord is implemented and followed, that results in the best living here on the planet Earth. You see? And um, Lord, and this was an edifying lesson. And, hey, uh, you see the difference, man. A hey, beauty is vain. Logan was an edifying lesson called Laim La. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Bahasham, Rakha Kurash. Double honest to elders and the apostles of the great millstones. Citation, all that I can put his word. True charity with charity. Shalom, Brakathan, Wakwam, Yashwala, Shalom.